Hello, hi, it's Henry, and this is the Pagan News. Today we will talk about crazy driving and lying but in my opinion. Living with crazy Korean drivers is a life threatening thing to do do. One, I was on my mom's car and we were waiting from the traffic to change. Finally, the traffic had changed and my mom made a quick U-turn. Usually, I would have checked the cheer her by saying bravo. However, this time, the words didn't come out of my mouth. After making a U-turn, we were greeted by a blue car driving crazy. It was wriggling through all of the lines of the road. It seemed like the driver was a madman. He was a left turn without even looking or being careful of the cars were coming from the other side. Another time my mom was dry, wasn't day too long. This car is famous for economies and crazy driving. Mom go diving into the street without thinking and there are a lot of traffic jams. Like always, the road was in a terrible traffic jam. I had just finished an academy and was going home in my mom's car. Just then, a car suddenly crashed our car. My mom was talking to me and when the car smashed our car, she got off the car. She was going to catch the woman, but the car had already drove away. Our car side mirror was rolling in the streets and my mom caught it before I could get it for more damage. However, my mom was lucky to have me. I had memorized the number of the car even though it passed away in an instant. We went, we went up to the car and we were able to catch the woman. We were lucky that we saw the number. However, but lots of people are getting unfair treatment because of those quite crazy drivers. Therefore, I think that people should stop driving in their own personal way. <laughs> Also, I never understood why people got it wrong, even when people were watching them do that. One time, I was waiting for the subway and two middle school students came up. I wasn't the only one and there were grandmas, grandfathers, and other business voices. However, it seemed like it did not matter to them. They pretended to look at the subway information on the stand. The others did not mind them. Suddenly, the subway pulled up and the two girls just went on it. Thanks to them and the business workers who didn't wait for their orders, I had to wait 10 more minutes to get on the bus. Next bus. I was fuming with rage. In conclusion, I think that the adults and children should all stop running into one. <laughs> It was Pagan News. See you next week. Bye.